Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of about six months absence I have been. Life is shit. Life is extremely encumbersome. And I'm just plain fucking exhausted. We're trying to improve our lives as we can. We're trying to get our own place. Whether it's here in Wisconsin or somewhere else. Right now, I don't care. We just need to move. So, as I said, life is extremely busy. And I haven't had time to do many videos. I haven't had time to do any. I haven't even done any filming. I haven't done anything. But I have still been studying. I'll always find time for that. Late at night, everyone else is asleep. And I am on my phone. Reading. Researching. Always. And I found a bit of connection concerning myself that I had no clue of before. I've always wondered, you know, I mean, I never fit in with anyone. Even other pagans or occultists, I just don't seem to fit in. And it's not that they don't like me, it's not that they... criticize me or anything like that it's not that it's just you know when you find a friend a particular friend or someone maybe a family member that you have this immaculate connection to that you feel bonded I have never felt that way with anyone and I believe I know why through my studies, it came to my attention that, of course, we all reincarnate. It's just a given the process. We die and we are born again. Correct the mistakes of our last life and get a little closer to our initial goal. But what is to say that you're born in, say, California? You live and you die, and then you're born again in California again, right? Or does it have to be that way? Does it have to be that you're always born in the same place? Always born in the same state? Always born in the same town? Always born in the same country or nation? Why couldn't you be born somewhere else, far, far away? Why couldn't you have been born on another planet? Or perhaps... Maybe that's where you originally came from. Far, far, far away. And you're never going to feel at home. Because you're not from this planet. And the more I studied this theory, the theory of star seeds, the more connected I felt for the first time in my life. The more I knew myself. And so, for the sake of the doubt, I told myself, perhaps I am a starseed. What if that is true? Where the hell am I from? So I began researching again. 
It doesn't mean that star seeds are all from one planet. There are millions and billions of planets out there that are fully capable of sustaining life. Perhaps not third dimensional life, but extra dimensional life is a guarantee. It is said perhaps there are other things living on this planet, on Earth, that we can't see or hear or feel because they're not our dimension, they're not our frequency. And so studying as I did the whole supposition of the star seeds, I came upon the sun Sirius, or perhaps you would call it a star. Sirius A and Sirius B. And I set it upon two planets that are put that potentially exist. Nibiru and Xylanthia. And again I felt a connection. And again, when I was a teenager, I always somehow would start imagining myself with flawless white-blue skin. I don't know, I didn't know why at the time, but I do now because for anything to survive from the radiation that comes from Sirius A, they would develop a thick pearly blue skin. Flawless. No pores, nothing that the radiation could permeate. So, I am a Syrian. I don't mean the Middle Eastern Syrian, I mean extraterrestrial Syrian. And upon this thought, I meditated. For weeks. Literally, I would sit, legs crossed, my hands crossed, or put into position for channeling energy. And I would deeply, deeply contemplate all of this. And one day, I, after all these years of meditation, after all of these years of contemplation, after all of these years, of sincere seeking. I had my enlightenment. Not that it is the only one I will ever have, but I did receive my awakening. And I knew my original name. An original name that I will not at this time be sharing. And I received all of my former memories. All of my incarnations everywhere. I am now fully aware of. That is what this past six months have been about. I am still everything I have ever have been. But now I know so much more about me, the past, the present, and perhaps the future. That I wanted to share with you, that a deep search for knowledge and a deep search to know yourself are initially the only tools you will ever need to become great. Thank you for watching this video.
it has been some time coming, but I'm glad to have finally gotten it out. If you enjoy anything that I put out there, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My YouTube channel is pretty shaky right now, but perhaps it'll be better later. I sincerely hope so. And until then, hail and farewell. May the universe carry you on ever onwards.